Hello. Perfect, Lior. Thanks yeah. so much. Thanks. So, um, so, so, uh, this is not really an interview. It's more a conversation between uh, me and Lior, uh, lead dev, uh, or uh, also core dev uh, of uh, NXT. And um, today uh, we're going to mostly negotiate because we have a, a difference in opinion uh, how, how to proceed with NXT and uh, see if we can come to a, an agreement. Okay. Yep. Um, you like, I, I like to start by um, explaining a little bit about the approach of NXT 2.0 and why I think it's necessary. Um, you're, I understand that you're not coming from the software business, mm -hmm. and I've been in this uh, business uh, since I remember myself. So, and, and w whenever in every high tech company or software project, um, you always have the existing stable version that everybody uses, it still gets uh, some updates, it still uh, advances. Uh, but you, but because the software business is so dynamic, and because um, a, a year from now everything can change because some some technology improvement, something radical uh, is going to change. So in software projects, you always have to work in parallel on your next big thing. And whenever uh, an investor looks at a software company or software project, they always look at what's working now, what is your uh, cash cow uh, at the moment, and but also what is your vision? Where are you taking this project? What is the next step? Um, how you are going to revolutionize uh, whatever you do today? And for NXT, we already have NXT 1.x. It's stable. It's operational. It it's work. It's it works perfectly. Actually, I, I think we ha haven't had any disruption for almost a year. So, um, application developers can can develop using it. It's um, it's stable, it's documented, uh, and, and we actually get a lot of uh, interest from developers, from companies, from all kinds of projects from all over the world uh, in using this technology. However, we have to also have a vision of uh, how we can, what would be the next step, what would be the next revolution, how we can differentiate ourselves from the um, from the other competitors, and NXT 2.0 is our direction. Okay. Um, okay. So, so that's uh, the way I see why, regardless of even getting into the technicalities, I think this is the main reason why NXT 2.0 is important. It's necessary um, because we we currently have a small ecosystem. Um, and we have to attract more users, and we have to sell them a vision of where we are taking this, how we can uh, scale the blockchain to global levels. Um, okay. And and how do you think? Like, do you believe that we will have a lot more users on the blockchain? I I, I presume you mean. Uh, well, F, F next blockchain then, eh, for the most part. Uh, do you believe that we will have a lot more users, uh, a lot more transactions that will be validated if we do this? Um, I, I believe that uh, we, we have to think for the long run. And I mean, if we stay in the long run with the same transaction rate, as we have today, then it's it's not really important. It's not interesting. Okay, we have to um, we have to think big. There is no other way. I mean, it's quite possible. I don't have a crystal ball. It's quite possible that we release NXT 2.0 and nobody will use it. I hope it's not going to happen. Um, but uh, uh, but you have to think that uh, positive. Okay, I know we we have great technology. 
there is a lot of market demand and I see it every day. Every day uh, we get contacts from, uh, from businesses, from universities, from governments, from private people. It's really, it's really amazing the potential that we have. Um, and and I, I also like to tell you that on every software project, there is also the friction between the users of the stable version that just want the product to work stable and they don't want this, uh, you know, uh, this revolution uh, 2.0 version that uh, added adds more risk and uncertainty. Uh, and the um, and you know and the would be customer who likes to see where uh, that there is innovation. Um, for for example, um, you know the Gartner quad uh, Magic Quadron. No, what is that? Okay, the Gartner Magic Quadron is like uh, it's something that Gartner uh, publishes for software. Um, for categories of uh, software and hardware technologies, it's a uh, uh, it's a rec basically a rectangle with two axes. Um, one is uh, called completeness of vision. That's uh, if I recall, it's the y-axis, and uh, the second is called ability to execute, which is the x-axis. And what software companies are struggling to achieve is to become in the upper right corner of this rectangle, okay? Which means you have ability to execute and you have completeness of vision, okay? So if I like, if I rate um, NXT today, I think we have, uh, we, we are ranked pretty good in our ability to execute compared to uh, all kind of dream, uh, currencies that pop up and, and die the next day. Um, but we also need to uh, um, need to be good in the completeness of vision. Like, for example, if you look at uh, Bitcoin, I would say it's definitely the first in the ability to execute. It's used everywhere. Okay, but the completeness is in of vision, it's ranked uh, pretty low in my view because it's locked in uh, endless struggles between developers and it's very difficult to, to modify. Um, on the other hand, project like Ethereum has, uh, I think in completeness of vision, they are ranked excellent, but in ability to execute, they are currently quite low because th there is not a lot of uh, systems in production and not a lot uh, of experience with, with this uh, blockchain. Okay, so 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 the way we I, I look at it is that we need both uh, ability to execute and completeness of vision, and that's what uh, NXT 2.0 brings to the table. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, we are, don't have an ability to execute with NXT. The way things are set up and the way things have been done, we're executing very poorly in gaining users on our blockchain. I think you, the developers have done great work, but we totally lack in, in marketing, and um, we totally lack in just having a, a business model to pay uh, anyone that creates value for NXT decently. Um, and the way things go now, I, I believe you that you get a lot of emails from interested companies and parties that love the software, but <clears throat> Are these people interested to start building something on our blockchain or building something on the blockchain NXT 2.0? Or do they want to license the software? Um, I, I think it's going to be uh, from from both. I, I, I think we, uh, as we already discussed last month, not every company can, can use a public blockchain. And some companies will need to develop uh, their own services on top of uh, of the NXT blockchain. So it's definitely possible that we have will have uh, private blockchains. It's possible that we'll have a lot of private blockchains. And I'm quite sure that this is not something that will um, harm the existing uh, NXT ecosystem. 
you can you can actually look um, you can look at what uh, Ethereum is doing with us Azure. When you start a, a new Ethereum Azure template, it asks you for uh, your to create private keys for your accounts, and you start from a completely new blockchain. I, I, I at least that's my understanding, and uh, I, I didn't see that this hurts the um, the Ethereum value in any way. Uh, on the contrary, it allows users to experiment, um, develop their own applications. I look look at Nem, for example. That I'm not following Nem closely, but I recall that they had an announcement about working with a Japanese bank on a private blockchain, and the value jumped like crazy. Okay. So, so I, I don't think that I, I I sense that you're afraid that if we have private blockchains, this will come on the expense of the public blockchain. And and I'm saying it's the contrary. The more projects we'll have using NXT, it, it's going to be better for the uh, public chain as well because we'll have more fonts for marketing, more fonts for devs, and indirectly this will um, also benefit the the nxt ecosystem the the existing public chain and and do you have an example of of of, of because these open source business models are uh, like uh, already uh, ha happening for uh, uh, many decades now do you have an example of a business that uh, works this way and that's successful I mean, I, I an think, open source project? I think the, the most uh, well known is uh, Linux. Mm -hmm. Linux itself, it's open source. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can get the basic uh, model, uh, the basic operating system for free. It has many, many implementations. Some of these implementations are commercial, like uh, Red Hat and SUSE and few, and few others. Um, so others are uh, actually um, open source themselves, like Ubuntu and probably dozens of, of others. Um, and, and Linux is actually embedded, it's embedded everywhere in, uh, in set of box, in uh, routers, in uh, Chromium, I, I think in Android as well. So, so at some point, the, the fact that you have such a huge ecosystem which supports you, even if you don't uh, benefit from it directly, you'll get a lot of benefit indirectly. Um, so, it, of course, blockchain is not operating system. It, it's a different model. There is also the existing uh, blockchain investors. Uh, but but the the, uh, the model of uh, freemium is is something that is working. Freemium. Um, what is free, that freemium? It's called freemium. You you get basic base version for free, but um, on top of that you have premium services. Okay, which is uh, either just services to customize the basic. Uh, or uh, or a, another version with uh, many more features, like uh, for example the uh, the IDE I'm using for Java development. It's called uh, IntelliJ. IntelliJ, the basic IntelliJ package is um, is completely free and open source. You can load, download it from the, their site. It's it's a very capable version. But on top of that, they uh, sell you another version, the enterprise version, which is uh, which has a database binding and a web server, and it works with application servers and additional languages, and that's where they make their money from. Um, and and they have to do it this way because they are competing with a lot of open source uh, other open source products, which sell completely for free. Uh, like Eclipse and uh, NetBeans, um, but but the last I check, the the companies that ship this uh, IDE, JetBrains, they are doing very good commercially. Um, 
and they continue to develop both the, uh, the free version and the enterprise version. Um, so, so and, and actually the adoption of the free version by uh, students, open source developers, uh, school, uh, schools, and so on, is also driving the adoption of the commercial uh, product. Um, yeah, I, th I think, <sighs> Um, I think it's possible to develop a cryptocurrency uh, the way uh, NXT currently is headed. Uh, this business model that you are working on, uh, together with Jean-Luc, I think it can work. But for me, it's really not working enough. And, and I want to go another direction. Okay, what do you suggest? Um, I suggest that we focus fully on creating value for the blockchain um, and, and, and so fully focused on, on getting more users on our blockchain um, and it's okay that it's open source, I, I like that very much, but the way to make money in my opinion should be fully focused on users on our blockchain and that can be of course also FNXT which is uh, focused on having other people. Uh, I have their own brands on your own blockchain and their own coins and their own decentralized applications, uh, but it's also, all, it's, it's also on your blockchain. Eh? So I can see how NXT 2.0 can be successful, but, but, uh, but we need a lot more than, uh, than this uh, design, we need a decent business model and we need decent marketing and it's all, all interrelated, I think. Uh, Mark, just a second. Mm -hmm. Mark, you hear yes. me? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So, so um, I'm trying to, uh, so what, let's talk about the technical issues because I'm less into marketing and, and business development. What, what are we missing currently? I mean, I mean, I realize that we don't have, I mean, for me as developer, it, uh, what happens recently, I feel like this. If we do something, then everybody is angry because we did this and perhaps uh, broke so something to, for someone. If we don't do something, people are also angry at us because we didn't do it. So, uh, so we get spunk from every direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so what, uh, what are we missing? I mean, uh, why, uh, w what is the killer features that we don't have right now? Um, be be because I, I can see that people were willing to pay $5 million for LISC but they don't even consider an ICO for NXT or any way, reasonable way to draft uh, funds for for NXT. So, uh, so, so I guess LISC that did not even uh, issue the Genesis block, if I know, as far as I know, uh, is now worse almost like NXT, which is also already running stable with many features that will take LISC years to develop. Um, so, so, so tell me, what are we missing? Well, uh, I think that the big problem here is that uh, that that uh, we don't have a clear uh, situation here. Uh, it's like you work in a non-profit, but you have shareholders. Uh, so you, you pop, pop part of the people that develop and market, they think they're actually not really working for the shareholders because it's a non-profit and so they, 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 they build stuff that sometimes benefits the shareholders, sometimes not, sometimes benefits the users, sometimes not. Uh, uh, it's just, we, we have all different interests and, and we don't have the same interests and it creates conflicts. So, so, so okay. I think, yeah, go ahead. But but look, uh, we we had the Tennessee uh, projects funds. We uh, they already financed a beautiful website. Uh, we now have a um, a help desk support site, Wiki. Um, 
we have we participate in the Bitcoin Wednesday in Amsterdam and and lots and lots of other activities that uh, Bass and Dave are doing behind the scenes. I think I, I'm working in close contact with them and I think they are doing excellent work. Not everything naturally they can uh, brag about <laughs> right now, but but, uh, but but I think they are doing an excellent job with the very limited funds that they have. I mean, we, we didn't raise five million dollars. Uh, they have something like maybe 70,000 or 80,000 to work with for a full year. There is so much you can do. Um, but but uh, and uh, we don't need five million dollars. But even if we had half a million dollar, we could do wonders with uh, with the existing infrastructure and wonderful people that are working for us. Uh, but 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 we cannot find a way to raise these funds. I mean, at some point, uh, with no other choice, we we may end up uh, going to businesses and asking them for uh, for funds. But these businesses rest assured, assured they will want something in return. Okay, so uh, so the idea behind the ICO was to be be able to work independently without businesses that will dictate for us what to develop and what not. Um, but, but, but evidently, I mean, the, the community voted against it. So, 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 so we'll have to, to see other ways to, to raise these funds. Yeah. Um, well, I, I propose to, 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 uh, to, to change the dynamics fundamentally for NXT, uh, and that means that um, uh, to implement a business model uh, that um, the coin holders start paying, uh, the people that create value for uh, NXT, and they start paying it not with donations, because that doesn't work very well, but with uh, issuing new currency. Uh, I think this will solve uh, our problems to have to, to have the same incentives, to have the developers work for the coin holders, being paid by the coin holders, and so I have the only objective to create value for the coin, and the same for everybody else, uh, the same for uh, Buzz and Dave, if they want to do marketing, uh, and all the other people that have ideas for NXT, there are so many, but who pays them, that's the question, and if it's the coin holders that pay them, then everybody knows what then it's just a, a healthy relationship, I think, where money will flow, but the, 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 uh, the, the goal is for everybody the same. I, I think, but, but I think this was the original idea of the ICO, to, to get these funds from the existing uh, stakeholders. Yeah, but... But the, but, but the community voted against us. Yeah, because so. the ICO doesn't give any... Uh, like, we have a problem that... Uh, uh, you can't do an ICO technically because what you're just doing is 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 the the the, the coin is launched already. Yeah? So 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 you can only do that at the start. So but w once the coin is la launched already, uh, it's just like a company that's launched already. What you can do is you can raise capital by issuing more shares, by issuing more coins. Hey, you could do that issuing more coins now uh, and get uh, money. Yeah, like you have one billion coins, you can issue hundred million coins more. Or you can indeed uh, strip the coins from its uh, validation power and sell a piece of that to the market and get money that way. But And that money can then go to the developers uh, or, or marketeers. But the problem there is that even though, in essence, the coin holders are paying, the shareholders are paying, because it's just uh, creating more uh, it's not sure that there will be value delivered in exchange. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, uh, that's what, what I think, uh, that's for me the big problem, like, if I'm going to pay, I'd like to have a say. Yeah. And, 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 and that's what happens when you, when, you do an, when you increase the amount of coins, well, then the, sharehold, then the coin holders can decide on what it's spent. Yeah. And, and so, the way companies solve that is, well, if you want to issue more shares, you need to have a majority vote of the shareholders. And so that will only be done if it's a good deal. 
uh, for the shareholders. Huh? And so the question is then, okay, how much money do we get from this guy? Or what kind of talent are we getting here? Eh? Of, and so uh, if that's a good deal, then, then the, the majority will agree. But the, problem with the proposal of NXT 2.0 is, yeah, most people agree that's a good thing. But, well, I think it's just because of the other problems that we have in the community and, of course, because of dogmas. Eh? A lot of people vote no because they feel that something is taken from them. Uh, and 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 they don't and, and that means that they don't see the value they get in return. Huh? Uh, so 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 I think that we have a challenge to convince uh, coin holders that increasing the supply can be a good deal. Um, but at the same time, I think we need to really change the structure of of the way we have worked and really like because Jean Luc and Bas they they sometimes openly say they don't work for the coin holders. And that's like saying, like the CEO of a company uh, or, or, or the head marketeer saying that they don't work for the shareholders. That's like, that's totally not okay. Eh? But it's understandable that they say that because it's true. Because actually the shareholders are not even paying them a wage. <laughs> so, so, so of course they're going to like say those things and start like look for income elsewhere. So I think we both have a, a, a failed, you know. Uh, but 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 um, yeah, we can fix it. I think. Um, the, the, regarding uh, increasing the coin supply, I, I see two problems. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, the existing stakeholders will mm -hmm. complain that they are getting diluted. Um, second, let's say that we create this 100 uh, million NXT additional, or maybe just tax all the existing uh, uh, coin holders by 10%. It's pretty much the same thing. We'll end up with another 100 million NXT. W what are we going to do with them? <laughs> the minute we'll try to convert them to Bitcoin or fiat, the, the, the value of NXT will, uh, will reduce because there will be a huge supply of NXT now. And then we'll also have centralization problem because now we have an account that has 10% of all the NXT. So, so uh, the funding, in my view, has to come from outside, not from uh, not from the inside or from the outside, in the form of Bitcoin or fiat, or in the form of issuing something new. Like, uh, and that was the ICO idea that at least part, um, just sorry, mm -hmm. just a second. Um, that was the ICO idea to create something new and then you can sell to people that want to join. And the problem, there is a problem with the existing uh, stakeholders because at least the, the original stakeholders, just a second, mm -hmm. yeah, receive, no um, received the coins almost for free but but they are not but now <laughs> whereas they don't give it back uh, just a second i need to do something with my phone um so let's put it on mute um so it, it's uh, it's really difficult I, I'm, I i don't have a simple solution for this um well i, I think i think uh, though so it's very if you're going to issue more currencies like issuing more shares it's very important you get more value in return than the amount of shares you're giving them and so so and only then the the majority of shareholders will agree with it when that's clearly the case but the other party will also do a good deal otherwise they wouldn't do it so and and and, and i wouldn't propose to oh let's 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 issue 100 million and, and sell them on the market uh, or, or not sell them and give them to the developers to spend at their expense uh, at, uh, the way they want no and what i would propose is uh, something where the majority of the coin holders can be behind like i was proposing uh, that that jean luc puts a price on how much he wants for uh, for uh, nxt 2.0 we can also like do that as a team like each person that works on nxt 2.0 can say look i want this eh? uh, uh, that's okay but <clears throat> we need as as coin holders to, to know like okay how much this is going to cost 
And since so many coin holders already like NXT 2.0, probably they will agree if the price is not too high. Uh, so if it's like 100 or 500 million, probably it might not be approved because people also realize, like, wow, that will really push the price of NXT down. And will, will, will we will will we will we create so much value? That's not sure. But if it's like I'm starting from a price where I'm pretty sure everybody will immediately agree. Like if we can get that for 20 million NXT, well, and it's only being paid the moment it's delivered. Yeah, he can sell the 20 million. It will. We will still make uh, the next day. We will still make a great deal. Likely. It will triple in value, and and you you won't even see a blip on the radar. Eh? Uh, so uh, it all depends on how much is is issued in exchange for what. Um, I, I I mean you are describing the problem, but but not the solution. <laughs> okay. Um, how so? Uh, I, I don't understand what you're proposing. So, so you are proposing just to change the the NXT uh, code to issue more coins, yes, and send them to a specific account that will be controlled by who? Who? who I'm not sure. Well, uh, uh, to change the code so that uh, if the majority of the ch of the coin holders votes to issue more coins, that more coins are created. And that they are sent to the one that um, on the vote got uh, uh, got approved to get those coins. Hmm? But but the, then this guy is a manager. No, he gets the coins. Like in your in the Jean Luc could get the coins for NXT 2.0, but you could also do a proposal where uh, Jean Luc gets this much, uh, Lior gets this much, eh? and if it's approved by the shareholders, then they all get. The newly issued uh, coins based on on what was proposed. Hmm? But but why do you need to issue new coins? I mean, you can issue an asset and and ask people to to buy it. It's the same thing. No. Whatever they buy, you send to the dev. We we already have few assets like this that dev yeah. issues. <clears throat> but it's not working. Um, uh, uh, the amount of money raised is absolutely not enough. Uh, to 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 pay decent wages, wages, uh, right. and, and you don't need to pay just decent wages. You need to do a lot more than that if you want to make a cryptocurrency successful. Uh, we're gonna have to do a lot more than that, and and so you can never. The problem is the 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 uh, how you call that the the, the tragedy of the commons uh, problem when you ask for donations. When I donate, I'm helping the project. But I'm losing coins, and the one that doesn't do anything, he gains basically market share, but he also gets all the profits from what I did, and it's yep. just not fair. So few people will donate, and you have a decline in, in, in the amount of people that uh, create value. Yes, so, so basically w what you're saying is that we reach a conclusion that we need um, some kind of government that will issue taxes on everybody. No, no, no. Oh. That, that would because, be... Uh, no, no. That, that's how we, in the real world, how we prevent the tragedy of the commons. No, 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 no. That's how we form building roads and uh, trains. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not proposing that at all. That would be like saying, like, okay, when a company issues more share in exchange for uh, capital or, t or to pay talent, uh, to say that, oh, you're taxing the shareholders now. No, that's not true, because you'd make a deal there. Uh, uh, you make a deal, and, and all, the shareholders all have all agreed by majority vote that, okay, we issue more shares and we pay them because we get more value in return. That's something very different than, um, than, than uh, forcing people to pay under the threat of violence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... so so basically what you're saying is that you can issue a, another vote on the community about increasing the number of tokens of the amount of NXT. If it's accepted, uh, I, I think that technically it's, it's doable. It's, it's not going to be simple. It requires a hard fork, uh, but we did things like that before. Um, I... For me, I don't think you'll you'll get uh, this approved. Um, because, uh, people will start that you are breaking the social contract of uh, NXT, and uh, 
you know, you know how it goes. Sure, and sure. When they start attacking you personally, <laughs> that you try to expropriate <laughs> the, well, the funds. Uh, yeah, uh, the, 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 uh, certain people uh, will say that, and and um, uh, I think it's possible for 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 NXT to continue in a in a in a project where no a new supply is created and. And uh, it's done in open source uh, way, uh, but I don't believe it's going to be uh, one of the big boys later on. It could be, eh? but I, 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 I think this is not. Uh, uh, there is it's just we can, it's not just an open source project. You have shareholders from the start, so it's not like Linux. Eh? You have coin holders from the start that actually, like, thanks to their investment developers are working on it so it's fundamentally something different and 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 so keeping it in the open source business model while well, we see the results even bitcoin is failing that way even though it has like free marketing uh worldwide globally uh still it's growing so slow uh, because the, 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 because it's just like the, the developers are not being paid. It's like a, a big tragedy of the commons problem there. Like the people that market it don't get paid. Uh, 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 even miners don't get much paid. Uh, and uh, like it's, 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 it's a big problem. And, and so I think we can uh, succeed by, uh, by, by, do, by, by implementing a decent business model. And I think other currencies are already doing that. Like uh, Dash eh, creates, um, like they have a constant inflation, like Bitcoin, uh, but the, the 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 inflation doesn't only go to miners; it also goes to developers and to marketeers. Uh, so so that's an improvement. <clears throat> but the problem uh, with that is like a company issuing every month a fixed amount of uh, a new new shares and then pay everybody with that. Well, you're gonna get bad deals because and, and you're going to not be able to make certain other deals uh, because um because it all depends like you shouldn't be like issuing more uh, shares and, and and give it to people uh, sometimes you need to issue a lot uh, depending on what you get eh? so so in any case i think uh, it does change the fundamentals of nxt but i think we have uh, i think I think it's so important that even if we, we don't get a majority, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's really worth it to consider to do a fork then and only do it with the people that believe in this because um, it's just like th that makes the difference. Like a business model, if you don't have the right business model, you're not going to succeed. And every in every new era, you have new kind of business models like the internet boom, all, all the people with brains, uh, with, with, with traditional sense of, of finances said, like, this is totally bullshit. Like, you're making losses, you're not even trying to make money, you're only focused on growth, on adoption of users, and, and, and you're valued in the billions. And there is not even a perspective on making money. But that was exactly what you needed to do to succeed as a, as a business. Eh? So <clears throat> you have to not only innovate technically, you also have to innovate your business models to succeed. And we see today that the business model of cryptocurrency is to indeed inflate your currency, pay people with, with new coins. But if you do that well, if you allocate the coins correctly, you will make profit and all the coin holders will make profit because the coins will still go up in value. Uh, but I think many coins make the mistake that, uh, and even Ethereum, uh, like, uh, yeah, they, they, uh, they should really have their focus then also on creating value for the coin holders. Eh? And, and, um, uh, and, uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, I think okay. that's it, yeah. I, I think I understand. Okay, so you propose, so in your view, we should, the, the next step should be to uh, issue more NXT currency in some inflationary uh, way. I mean, again, I don't have a, a crystal ball. It, perhaps it's, it's going to work, perhaps not. It's very difficult to predict. Um, the, the just getting the community to agree to something radical like this uh, would need a lot of uh, 
I don't know, a lot of pressure uh, from every direction. For, for me, I think th the focus should be more on getting um, funding from the outside. Um, but uh, I, again, I, I don't have a, a clear idea right now how to, uh, you know, how to achieve that. It's, um, I, I, I see there are a lot of discussions about this. So, not, so I, I, I can't uh, give you any, you know, any good news here or promises. Um, I, I think that, that, that indeed it is very controversial and, but I think we can get a, a clear majority of the vote. Like if we let, if for example, have a, a concrete proposal like, okay, because Jean-Luc or the team, Jean-Luc Ricker, eh, uh, they want to create NXT 2.0 for this amount of money, uh, newly issued coins, uh, do you approve this or not? Uh, I think we can get a majority vote if we let it run long enough. Um, like at the, at the original ICO of uh, NXT was only 20 days, I checked. Mm -hmm. If we do double, 40 days, um, and we send, a per I, I'm willing to do that, a personal message to all NXT accounts uh, to inform the, them of the, of, of the vote, then um, if there is a clear majority vote, I think we can proceed with, um, and also do, but also then do it in such a way that those that wake up in one year uh, to discover uh, what what happened, well, m maybe it can be technically done in such a way that you let the current NXT also live, um, but all those, that, but you also go to this new version, uh, and people are still free to choose. I, I don't know how that would work, but that's already how it works, no? Okay, I, I, I must say I'm, I'm very skeptical about uh, if this is if this will be approved and if it will be approved if this would be a, a good solution because um, I, I I think the, the way it will dilute the existing shareholders it's hard for me to see how this would be very beneficial for the well for the just, overall value you you also hold NXT coins eh? Yes, yeah, a so, little bit. Yeah. Well, so, so if, if you think just as a coin holder, what would you think of the deal? Uh, let's say, I don't know, what, whatever you guys want as money, but let's say John Lick puts a price of 20 million NXT or 30 million NXT on delivering NXT 2.0 in one year. Uh, do, would you think that's a good deal for you as a coin holder? <clears throat> um, I I, I, I don't think I can, uh, you know, give you a price right now for NXT 2.0 and, and no, we are no. working on, on NXT 2.0 anyway, but, but it's not a good feeling to work on NXT 2.0 and know, know that you don't have any funds to market it. Yeah, uh, that's another so, problem. So, so it's not only paying the devs and... Um, it's it's also you know to give to give the devs that some future yeah. uh, promise that that the work is actually going to be promoted. Uh, I uh, agree. I agree. Like so, that, this would be like the, only the first proposition. Once once this is proposed, I, I would really work very actively to propose all kind of things to uh, to make NXT a success and and in exchange for newly issued currency. And really try to attract a lot of people, uh, and I think uh, uh, that's absolutely necessary. We, we really need to invest a lot of money, start to invest a lot of money into marketing NXT 2.0 because we've done that so wrong in the past. Uh, it's uh, it's like there was barely any marketing for new features, and uh, and 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 so we can change that. Um, but of course. Um, uh, if I propose now uh, uh, something like let's market NXT uh, and and let's re and let's issue ten or whatever million coins to do this, uh, that's not going to work because people have too much resistance to raise the amount of coins. You really need to do that with something that's fundamentally important, and that's NXT 2.0. Like Jean-Luc, with this update, finally said like, okay, guys. 
not for free anymore. Uh, so we need money. Uh, and, and, and so he proposes ICO, but I think uh, that's not a good way. But um, with newly issued coins, I think uh, we can convince the majority of the community. Um, all right, Mark, I, I just, I, I, I'm running out of time. Yeah. I, I, I just like to summarize that I think it's a good discussion. I think I think every idea should be considered. Um, I, I just like to point out that if I look on where we are today versus where we are uh, six months ago, I think we are in a very good shape right now. We have the website. We have the um, uh, we have the Wednesday uh, meetups. Actually, today there is another meetup in Amsterdam. Um, we um, we have a support website. We are getting a lot of interest interest from outside. Nothing that actually matured into, you know, into an announcement or partnership. But uh, but, but we have a lot of activity, and and I must say, I'm right now things does look good. I mean, setting aside the the market value, which is uh, ridiculous. Not by itself, but if you compare it to what people are willing to pay on things like uh, Lease, Coyota, Wave, uh, and, and all these dreams that people sell uh, on, on the on the forums. Um, so, so I think the fundamentals of NXT are very good, and we have vision. We have so we have ability to execute. We have completeness of vision. We are ranked good on the Gartner Magic Quadron. Just we need marketing so that people realize it. Okay, uh, realize all the things they can already do with uh, with NXT. So so that's how I look at it. Um, and I think and I think it's very important that we work together. And I think that all these uh, you know conflicts and especially if they get personal. It's not a good thing, uh, and and I really uh, hope we can avoid that in the future. Um, I hope so too. But I, I, it's it's it Bitcoin the same is happening. Uh, it's a big war, yeah. and and and, uh, and 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 I think we cannot solve this um, without really like changing uh, the way we work fundamentally. Um, I, I think comparing the NXT wars are better off than the Bitcoin wars since the development team itself is pretty much united behind the NXT 2.0 vision. Um, we have, uh, we actually have uh, quite a few contributors that come here and there and help and um, they, they don't ask for much in return currently, but of course we like to give them more. To give them more incentives to to work with us, um, but 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 again, I'm saying uh, what what I'm seeing is uh, overall very optimistic, um, but we still need to somehow crack the the formula of how to fund uh, marketing and development because we are not there yet. Um, yes. And, and I think, I, and I think we we need to think out of the box and and. You know, closely examine every idea that someone comes up with. Yes, 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 and yes. Uh, let, we, let, let's let's wrap up for yes, today. Yes. Okay, Lior. Uh, it was a pleasure talking, and and um, I hope uh, I hope you can like um, I hope we can talk. We, we could get uh, a prize. Uh, for NXT 2.0 and put that uh, up to a vote. So I hope I hope you can talk with John Luke about this and give this a try. Okay, it's it's, it's an interesting idea. I, mm. I I think that it's not only uh, uh, John Luke and myself. It's not only the devs. We need to think also about the foundation and um, and really yeah. It's the worst that can happen is that we'll need another Tennessee. Okay, that that's really what you're saying here. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, so for the next, let, let's continue on the next. Uh, okay, that's point. good. Let's talk later. <laughs> all right. Bye, Lior. Bye, bye. 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 bye.